this is not what it looks like. I'll admit it looks a little weird. Listen, l listen, before you start judging, I was about to throw hands. Before I clicked on this video, I saw the title and I got mad as <laughs> But I realized that it's not what it looks like from the outside. So you have to watch the inside to learn about things inside and not judge it by the outside. God, that's some Einstein shit. So this 14 year old married a dude that's what 40, 50 years old, maybe 60. And I was reading some comments and oh my God, buckle up. This is already pissing me off. Let me know if anything makes you feel uncomfortable, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Cray, a uh, Reverend Cray, actually. Okay, Reverend, no. how old is Lindsay? 14. Now, how long was this gonna take? Like, that's the husband, right? I'm preaching at a revival meeting tomorrow. Okay, we'll just figure out what's going on here first and take it from there. Oh, oh, I see blood. Oh, I see blood. Did he just say, let's wrap, let's wrap things up here real quick because he's preaching at a revival meeting tomorrow? How long was this going to take? I'm preaching at a revival meeting tomorrow. Is this guy the husband? I'm not really sure if that's the husband, but if that's your wife right... Oh my God, a 14 year old. He's over here like, dude, I have so much shit to do tomorrow. So can you like heal her real quick? Can you give her a band-aid or something? That's not how it works. Have you ever felt pain like this before? Her last pregnancy, she'd get sick like this, but not with all this blood. Her last? Last pregnancy? Lindsay, what happened with your last pregnancy? Did you carry to term? She'd had what they called a spontaneous miscarriage. That was four months ago. Oh my God. Well, it doesn't look like she's pregnant now. However, I am seeing some irregularities in the lining of her uterus. This is some scary shit. How old was she when she got pregnant for the first time? 12, 11, 10? Oh my, oh my God. Now this dude better be the dad and not the husband. He looks at least 55 years old. That's a 41 year gap. You got me fucked up. All right, I'm gonna do a pelvic exam now. Are you all right with that? You can come outside. There's Wait. a waiting area. We'll give your daughter a little more privacy. Oh, it's the daughter. Daughter? Lindsay's my wife. He is the husband. hoping that he wasn't a husband but he sounds like a dick he looks like an actual dick and he's a dick this marriage is legal that guy and a 14 year old girl is her that... father gave us consent and a judge signed off on it so yeah this is a fact while 18 is the minimum marriage age in most states there are exceptions in every state that are ch The, it's so you, you like you can marry a 14 yeah I now do I delete this part because I feel like there might be a pervert watching this video that man should be arrested right but on what charges rape coercion whatever this girl is a kid she obviously had no choice in the matter he barely lets her speak can we call in the police family yeah. services well, unfortunately we're required to respect michigan By state law. law she's undergoing a dnc to get rid of any products from her prior miscarriage yeah which the reverend only okayed because he wants lindsay to be able to conceive as soon as possible we have a 14 year old who married a 56 year old dude which she obviously did not consent I'm just surprised that this is actually illegal and it's not just in the show. This is actually legal. If she has consent by the parents, you can legally marry? At this point, perverts can just pay parents to marry their children. If some parents don't care for their kids, they might as well just do it and get paid. Hi. How are you feeling, Lindsay? I'm a little groggy still, but I feel better. Thank you, ma'am. Is everything okay with her? The way she looked at him? You're welcome, sweetie. Is uh, everything okay with her? Piece of shit. <clears throat> yeah, she's okay. 
Well, that's what I came in to discuss with you both. Um, the gynecologist found a tumor growing within the tissue that would have become the placenta. Tumor? Yes. Um, she sent it to pathology. It is, I'm afraid, malignant. It's called a choriocarcinoma. I'm sorry, but sometimes doctors really need to speak English. Yes, we just sent it to pathology and they said that you have a uh, perioma Chewbacca Las Noches. Sad news, I'm sorry to say that you do have Chewbacca Las Noches. And a mix of Tyrosaurus oat milkosaurus, sadly. I have cancer. Thankfully, it's still confined to your uterus. That's what's called so stage, stage one. Oh. These tumors generally respond favorably to chemotherapy. Worst case scenario, we would need to consider a hysterectomy. The first she comes in here, talks chemo. Next, she's scheming to remove your womb altogether. I can assure you, there is no scheming going on. Chemo can lead to infertility. I'm seeing it. This piece of shit wants a kid so badly that he doesn't give a shit about her at all. I mean, it sounds like it, right? She just discovered that she has cancer and this motherfucker is over here worried that she's not gonna have kids or that he's not gonna be able to use her vi- Ooh, stop. Yeah, I'm sorry, but sadly you do have cancer and we might have to start chemotherapy. Wait, she has cancer? So like... Is her vagina still usable though? Like how much time do we have before I can no longer use her vagina? This motherfucker is such a creep. I feel like if she has kids, you know what I'm saying? Some weird shit is gonna happen between the dad and the kid. But to do nothing at all would be far, far riskier. No, thank you then. We will not be doing any chemotherapy. This- Sir? I'm going to ask you to step out for a moment so that I can Fuck discuss this with my patient privately. Why? She doesn't want me to leave. Go on, ask her. Please, please. He can stay. <gasps> can I fuck him up now? Any lawyers out there that just, can you guys give me permission for me to fuck him up? These type of people make my boil blood, bo boil blood, blood boil. Like I said, only thing we need from you now, doctor, is to get Lindsay discharged. He's willing to let her die as long as he tries to have another kid or as long as he gets to sleep with her for a couple more nights. What a filthy mother... I'm not sure oh, I should be gone. talking to you alone. You are considered by law to be medically emancipated. Oh. It means you have the right to make your own medical decisions. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Nothing. No, I was just conferring with my patient. He can't... Lindsay, regardless of what this man thinks or wants, it is your body that and is your choice. Inside. So we what do you outside. want Isn't to do? that illegal? Get your doing hands doing that. That. Isn't that illegal, though, for him to technically grab her like that? I feel like the doctor does have the right to talk to her in private without this motherfucker interfering. And she said... She's married, so she can make her own decisions. Which means that she doesn't have to ask this filthy old bitch about decisions. So if I was there, I'd feel like, Sir, before I fuck you up real quick, do you want me to call 911 for you? The cancer is you. You've been treating Lindsay like she's a child, she not a woman. She is a child. She's 14. Just because you had some judge sign off on what's Punch obviously me. a case Excuse of me, abuse I need to talk does not magically decree her a he woman. He touched you. And now you want to play games with her health? You are a bully and a predator. Yes, I want this bitch removed from my wife's care. Why was he saying that she's been treating Lindsay like she's a child and not a woman? She's 14, dude. <laughs> what is this? She's not 40. She's 14. That's why it's called 4 not 40. You've been treating her like she's 13 or something. She's a grown woman. She's 14 years old. She just turned 14 like three days ago. She's a grown woman now. You're absolutely right. And again, I want to apologize for Dr. Manning's behavior. It was entirely- Why would you apologize? Very aggressive. It was pushy. Yeah, well, oh, between no, you and me, this is not man. the first time we've had a problem with her. She can get emotional. Women, right? Wait, what? Monique. Help Reverend Cray here with uh, discharge paperwork, would you? She's leaving? We'll take great care of you. Good luck and God bless, Reverend. I will be praying for you and your wife. What the fuck is going on? 
What is with this doctor? I thought he was on her side. He's over here helping this dude discharge the poor girl. Women, am I right? They get so emotional sometimes for no reason. Yeah, sure, let me just grab your 14 year old wife and we'll discharge her right away even though she has cancer and you're literally just using her for sex. But say no more fam, I am so sorry for the over dramatic emotional doctor that you had to go through. She gets crazy sometimes. I am so sorry. Let me just grab your 14 year old wife real quick. No, I want a hysterectomy. A hysterectomy is really not necessary at this point. I, I don't care. Some women have their breasts removed if they have the cancer gene just so they don't get it later, right? You are so young. A hysterectomy is irreversible. You will not be able to become pregnant and have children, ever. You don't know my life. You don't understand. I don't want to bring a kid into this world. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? I thought he he went there to help her and I'm like, oh, oh my god, I, I think I judged him real quick. Does he not see the situation here? This poor girl is getting R-worded. Help her! But he's over here like, oh, if you have this, you're no longer gonna have babies. Are you sure about that? You sure you don't want to have a baby with a... 55 year old, 6 year old creepy dude? Are you like 100% sure about that? Yeah, no shit, dumbass. What is going on here? Lindsay has decided to have a hysterectomy. Over my dead body. Okay, then She's kill my him. wife. I make the decisions. No. Sir, please move. You lay so much as a finger on her, and I will sue you to kingdom come. Oh, no. We have her consent. You lied to me. She can't make that kind of decision for herself. She was obviously coerced. He forced you to sign this, didn't he? No. Oh no! That is so sad. No more babies for you. <laughs> this is the saddest thing I've seen all day. Oh my god, he can't have babies? What a shame. Oh no. The big six-year-old grandpa is sad. Oh no! I have the perfect tool for you, bud. You know, you can use this. It's actually a hairspray, but you know what you can do with this? Shove it up your ass. You know what? At least we had a good ending to this. Whew. This was really stressful. I know it's just a show, but I'm pretty sure this is happening around the world. But these poor girls can't talk about it, and I feel really bad. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. Please hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon. And I just feel so bad for the six-year-old dude. He won't be able to have kids. Oh, I don't think that I'll be able to eat lunch today.